So before we head out to Colorado, we really hammered down our shooting. Um, wanted to be confident shooting far, shooting close. And we went and shot in some pretty windy conditions, which I'm glad we did because we had a good feeling we were going to be going up against some of that in Colorado. But that first evening we got there, it didn't take us long to start seeing some deer. Um, started seeing some small bucks and multiple groups of does. So we got pretty excited about that. Um, it made us pretty confident about the spots that we picked out, knowing that there's some deer, regardless if we had seen any big bucks or not, knowing that there was good groups of deer on these pieces of land. So after watching these deer for a bit and scouting a little bit more, we decided we'd probably start heading back to where we're staying. But we figured we'd stop at one more spot and do some late evening glassing. And out of nowhere, I mean, we've been there for five minutes, a, this huge black bear comes out at the base of the mountain we're on. And he just steals this, what looks like to be a dead deer down there, from this pack of coyotes. I mean, we thought it was a grizzly at first, just because of how big this thing is. But there's no grizzlies in this uh, region we're hunting. I mean, it's 600-pound black bear. I mean, just absolutely huge. He just goes under and he just sits down on this thing. <laughs> and these coyotes are just keeping their distance from him. But, I mean, this goes on. I probably sat here and recorded this guy for 30 minutes. Um, just huge black bear, and he's just sitting there watching them. And uh, they end up just walking away and playing with the scraps that's laying around the main carcass. But, I mean, one of the coolest encounters we've ever had, probably the coolest encounter we've ever had. You should see it, what it looks like. crazy. So it's our second morning out here. We decided to get up higher than we were yesterday, hoping to see some deer out here feeding before going to their beds. Um, we're really liking the way the land lays up here. It looks pretty promising. So after watching these does for a good while, we decided to head off the mountain and do a little bit of driving around in the lower areas. Um, and while we were doing that, we ended up finding this buck right here. Um, he's not a huge deer, doesn't have a whole lot of points on him, but he's a mature buck and uh, a shooter to me. Uh, just a big body deer and it was cool seeing him with these does right here. But uh, they had just came from some water bottom. Um, it was super, this was a super dry hunt by the way. Um, these deer, I mean, if you could find water, there's more likely going to be some deer around it at some point. But uh, so we were trying to figure out where they were coming from and see if they had any pattern uh, related to going to water. But it was super cool seeing this guy, big old body deer. But um, after seeing him and watching him for a little bit, we decided to keep on going and see if we can find some more spots. So we decided to get up high again that next morning. Our plan was just find a good spot, settle in, and just 
glass most of the day. Um, just taking her time, picking apart, you know, just the smallest details uh, on this mountainside. As we're sitting here, I see something. We're about a mile away. That looks like ears. They keep on looking, and I'm like, oh, that's a buck. You know, it's a shooter buck. So we get locked in on this area. We start watching this little patch on this mountainside above this huge, you know, bowl basin. As we're sitting there, I was like, oh, there's more deer. There's there's another buck, too. Another big, I mean, this one's big. This is a big deer here. Uh, so we're watching him. There's more does, and they're just coming in and out, feeding, laying down, feeding. And we're like, okay, yeah, we need to we need to keep an eye on this all day and try to make a move. So it starts getting pretty windy where we're at, and it's making it hard to look through the binoculars and the spotting scope, and it's making it hard to record. But the wind finally calms down, and that's when we start to see how big this deer really is. Oh, Solomon, that's a big old deer. Holy jeez. He's starting to rub a tree a little bit. Oh my gosh. I don't know, this one's big too though. I can't, they both look nice. I don't, I guess, he's nice. He's a lot bigger than, if that's the one we had pinned when he was bedded down, he's a lot bigger than I thought he was, if that's the same one. He got up, I think cause the sun got on him. So we watched this buck for hours. We singled him out from all the others and we wanted to watch him until he bedded down because this was a good ways away still and we didn't want to get up there on top of that mound and have no clue where he was at. So we pinned where he laid down at, and then we started to move up on him. Which route are we going? We started getting closer to where we last marked the buck it started getting pretty hard to see up in there um so we'd lose him we'd see him again we'd lose him but we knew there was trees i mean we could see the trees from way high up where we were glassing but once you get down in here i mean these are some some of these trees are pretty thick i mean it gets thick in there so they could easily hide when they want to but we just keep on going and we just continue to just straight line and try to stay out of sight as much as possible As soon as we peeked over this hilltop, the deer were already on to us. I'm not sure what happened. I guess a doe had seen us as we were sneaking up, and she was out of there, and the rest were following. But this things got hectic real quick because the deer are all on their feet, and they're starting to go into a trot here in just a second. So I'm trying to figure out which buck is the one we've been looking at, which is the one I want. And the wind is blowing up here. You can't really tell, but the wind is blowing super hard, so the audio is not really there. But I'm really trying to get on the buck in the far back. But all I see is the does and it's just confusing. And it's going how you don't want it to go. Here they are. Shoot the back one. Let him walk into the crosshairs and just nail him. So I'm almost discombobulated. I'm sitting here. The scope is doing something funny. 
and probably just me rushing, honestly. But the deer are getting out of there, and I'm trying to catch my breath, and I'm just I'm seeing the does, and I end up finally seeing the bucks. I'm like, okay, there he is. And he's not stopping. We're calling at him a couple of times. He's not stopping because of how loud the wind is. And he gives me a second behind this bush, but I'm not ready and I'm not comfortable with a moving shot. Well, right before he starts really taking off over this crease, Dad calls at him and he ends up giving me just a second to make a shot. Get him. Get him. Stay on him. Hit him. Shoot him again. Shoot him again. I see him. I see him. He's over there. You hit him the first time. Did I nail him? It looked like it. He was struggling. Ah, we can run up there and check. Do you want to see the shot? Yeah. After shooting this buck, I mean, we're just stoked. You know, it, we're like, I can't believe that worked. We got all the way up here within this amount of range uh, before they got out of here. And... We spent all that time and just put in all that effort, and it worked. You know, we were like, we got the buck that we were out to get. Well, a little bit of me sitting there, I'm like, you know, and I'm thinking about that shot, and I'm looking at the footage, I'm like, I don't like the way he's just walking away like that, you know? And that second shot, I knew I didn't hit it after looking at the footage. So we instantly start going up the hill, and I mean, it's some steep stuff. But we get up there to where I hit the buck at. And I'm not seeing any blood. We're not seeing any blood. We're not seeing any struggle or any, you know, rock slide of him falling down this mound or anything. I'm just like, oh, no. You know, that's when it started to really hit me. I'm like, I just wounded this deer. I mean, I know I hit him. We both knew I hit him. But I'm like, I wounded this deer, and he's nowhere in sight. I should have gotten up as soon as I shot him and ran to the left and, you know, hit him again it didn't go down like that while we're sitting there looking for my buck a couple gunshots go off back towards the valley where that buck was headed and it turns out some guys end up harvesting themselves which i'm glad you know i didn't want i'd rather somebody else get this buck that i failed to get than him you know go back in there up high and just be suffering with a bullet in him you know but um, so I was glad to, to see that. But still, I mean, this was this was rough for me. You know, we kept on going at it <laughs> that next day. We just we continued and we weren't going to let that get us down. So after my screw up the day before, we got up again early and went to the same place. We seen this four pointer buck right here. We knew there was a ton of does in this area and we were hoping that he would be there again. Or if not him, there'd be some other bucks moving in and out. Well, while we're looking around in this area, we see this buck. And this buck, I don't know if the four-pointer had been shot or if he got chased off, but he was with those same does we had seen, so we already made a move to get on this guy. Stay really low. Yeah, climb up. Kill the big buck. Holy crap. <laughs> we got him. <laughs> I'm so excited. My, my hands got numb after you shot. You nailed him, son.
<laughs> God, that's a big old deer. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Here goes the other deer. <laughs> right on the border of private public land. Oh my God. What'd you say, Saul? That's a big old <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, he's beautiful! <laughs> Look how big that is. This is giant. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's... Solomon, that's your biggest deer. Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> Woo! Why don't they look when you're looking at them? Oh my gosh! Solis! Solis! Oh my gosh, he's a giant deer! He's a giant! How much do you think that weighs? I don't know, it's a giant deer. <laughs> How's that feel, buddy? Oh. Good. Now that's the biggest deer I've ever seen. That's the biggest body deer I've ever seen. He's got brow tines. He's a ten. He's a ten pointer. Five by five. He's got good mass too. That's what's crazy about it. Oh my gosh, son! That is a giant deer. Holy crap! Oh, guys, you have no idea. <laughs> Beautiful buck, Solly. Turn him to me. So he's got brow tines, which is not very common on a mule deer. Look how beautiful this deer is. And the body is huge. That's a 200 and something pound deer. Oh my God. last stock here is the same day just a couple hours after getting my buck on the ground uh it was honestly unexpected so everything started happening super fast we've seen this buck off in the distance with a bunch of does he was bedded down so we got up and hurried and got on this deer
You nailed him. You nailed him. Smoked him. Smoked him. Yes! Dude, one day. There they go. Oh, there's a lot. There's a lot of them. Oh, gosh. Wow. Them does are still staring. Those are just one jester right now. Like 80 yards away from him. There's that little buck right there. He's a five by four. I would have shot that one. For sure. Gosh, his body. His body is. Big, just as big as the other one, I think. Oh, yeah, that's wide. You can't tell how big he is from the side, but when you look at him from the right there, look at that. Oh my gosh, look how big his body is. That's what I'm saying. I ain't even a little hot because he was bedded. Yeah. Mule deer hunting's always been a dream of ours. It's something I've always wanted to do, and we've gone a couple of times in the past, but this was just a special hunt, getting to go to Colorado like this and getting the opportunity at these mule deer. It was it was a crazy hunt, super fun. Uh, definitely had some up and down moments, but it was awesome. But be on the lookout for our newest video that's gonna be coming out soon where we're off in Kansas for a second time ever trying to get on some big whitetail. I appreciate everybody for watching, and we really hope y'all enjoyed it. We'll see y'all next time. Thank you.